Hey guys, welcome to an Ace Review. I'm going to be reviewing Entertainment Earth's exclusive by Figures Toy Company, the Batman Classic TV Series 8 inch figures. Um, here's each in the package. Let's go with first. This is Bruce Wayne um, with the lounge jacket variant. You see him wearing that um, at the beginning or end of several of the episodes. We have a little um, image there. We have a little sticker on each one that has the Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker. And uh, these are great in the clamshell. You can take them out and put them back in there or you can leave them closed. Shows the, the uh, accessory pack that they have out. Now this is a great set, especially um, if you wanna begin collecting these. And the reason why is because these figures are mostly all well, they all are variants, it even says on each of the tops of their description. Um, the main exclusives in these packs, however, is the Bruce Wayne, um, this outfit with the lounge jacket, you're not going to get on any of the others. Um, however, the Penguin, the Joker, and um, you're going to get those same figures, but they have some added accessories to them. And so... If you're a collector, it might be kind of annoying when it's just a variant that has a little piece added or painted a little different. Some of these figures are like that, but for the most part, um, over half of these figures are all new and and uh, some really cool stuff added to it. Dick Grayson, undercover agent, undercover agent variant with his leather jacket. He has boots on and everything this is a very cool and this is one that the only way you're going to get that is in this exclusive set we have alfred pennyworth the green apron variant and also to note he has these new glasses on which i like very much now when you get him um in the packaging it doesn't come with the glasses on it comes in a little bag that you see in there he has his green apron on that he is wearing oftentimes in the show so that's really cool. And um, I'm gonna get these open up in a minute here for you to see. We have the black mask variant penguin. You have the different images there. These are um, modeled off of the old Mego dolls from like the 70s and 80s. And uh, sorry, here's the, here's the Joker utility belt variant. Same Joker figure. His suit might be a little pinker. I know the original release was a little more purple. And um, so, very cool. This is a very good set. Um, like I was saying, for a starter set, especially because if you're if you're just collecting, um, if you're going to be a completionist about it, you got you know figure you got to get all of them anyway. But if you're not, if you're just getting ones that you like. This is the perfect set to get because that penguin, that Joker, especially, it's the same figure except with the penguin he has an added black mask and the uh, Joker, he has his added utility belt. So that works out really well. And um, you'll notice it on, on all the packages here, it has this little Figures Toy Company tag, which we'll take that off here in a minute. But once you clip it, Just get a sharp scissor and cut it. Then you know it's open. So that's how you know if you're buying these from another seller or something that it has that piece because it doesn't just come off. You have to cut it. So, um, and some of the images there for the Joker's doll. So I'm going to get some of these out and we'll show them off. Each of them come in a, um, well, I'll show you. You just, you just kind of open the blister pack if you're not familiar with these. And it opens right up. And inside, there's a card, customized card for the figure. And um, you can see, see that. And then it has the back images as well. That just goes right back in there, and if you want, you can put the figure back into display. So you can still open them up and and um, 
pose them if you want. Some collectors get stands and stuff. And they each come on this little tray insert piece. Now, they're originally... Um, I, I took them off already, so I'm not going to do a big unboxing for you. Just put them back in there. They have the wire pieces like around the neck and the arms and the legs and stuff to kind of show... Um, or to kind of keep them secure. So here he is, uh, Bruce Wayne version. I think it's a pretty good likeness for these. They're very much like the Mego dolls, but with kind of an updated look, a little more detail. And um, he has like the satiny um, lounge jacket, a little tie there. Nice shiny shoes. Bruce Wayne here even has black socks. And uh, the these are very nice quality, very high quality. I highly recommend them. They look like a very nice um, throwback to something that would have been um, during that time in 66 through 68 when the show was in production and on air. And a lot of people's favorite in this in this set is uh, the Dick Grayson undercover agent. So, here he is. Pretty good likeness to, to Burt Ward. And it's a very nice texture, vinyl uh, leather looking jacket. He's got gloves sculpted on there. I want to note too, these have very good articulation. They have a swiveled head and they have ball joint arms that can move forward and move them around. They have um, hinged wrists. Then also turn. They have like a, their abs move also. And knees, the ankles and everything. Ben, you can take the shoes off. And I mean, look at that. The jacket even has the zippers on the back. And this is a really cool figure. These can stand pretty well. Sometimes you have to do a little fiddling with it. Um, a lot of people get the stands that have like the little base with the hook that wraps around their waist, like doll display sort of, um, stand. So next is the Alfred Pennyworth Green Apron variant. Like I said, the glasses kind of come in this little Ziploc bag in here and I have them all already for you see here he is so the glasses they come off and they fit really well good hair detail he actually has his full suit with the tie white shirt and his black suit coat his uh, dress shoes and everything and then these glasses which actually almost look like they have lenses on them and everything they even kind of magnify his eyes a little bit. They, they clip on really well. Mine was a little weird when I first got it, so I just uh, heated up some water in a teacup and put them in there, and it softened the plastic, and then voila, they pop out, right? Just like you want them, the original shape and everything. It hooks right over the ears. And again, this one, this is the regular Alfred, except it has the different glasses and the different, the green apron. So that's what makes that one a variant. And next we have the Penguin Black Mask variant. And he just pops right out. Now he's more of the, like, fatter guy. You know, he has a bigger belly. He's not skinny like the other figures have been. He's got his tie, his hat, which comes off. And it kind of, it's, it's kind of loose, so it kind of just drooped down. But if you put it at his tilt, that rubber, it's like a soft rubber. It kind of grips his hair and stays like, kind of give him that suave look there. So 
like I said. So the penguin here is an excellent version of one of the variants. Um, since this is basically the penguin figure that you get um, previously, except that he has this black mask, which is kind of this nice little rubber, um, rubberish type of mask with a elastic um, on there, so it's nice. It fits real snug over the head, over the head, and everything. And he still has his monocle on. You can see that there. The his uh, cigarette is re removable, and it it uh, plugs back in. Whoops. Sorry, I was doing that watching it through the camera. So when you when you plug it in there, you can kind of adjust it how you want. So he's got real nice details all over his suit. He's got plastic uh, molded um, white glove hands. And you can see his, his uh, fancy shoes there. And he's got a nice little bow tie. And so, yeah, real, really nice, really nice figure. He's got little button details on the back there. And um, he actually has, uh, because, yeah, he actually has um, suspenders there underneath his white shirt. So, very nice detail. And so that's the penguin. Sorry about that. Um, next we'll be with the Joker. Utility belt variant. Let's get him open. I highly, rec highly recommend this set. This is a really cool set from Entertainment Earth. And like I said, it's an exclusive. You have to get it on their site. And uh, Joker Cesar Romero looks great. He even has his mustache detail in there. And uh, his hair sculpt looks great. He's got his pink um, suit on. His uh, shoes there with socks also. I think just those two have the socks. And you have his jacket on the back there, and all these are fully dressed. Like, they actually have a real vest there, uh, and a um, little Batman Classic TV Series tag inside. And we have this utility belt, so if you just pop the utility belt off, you have the, the basic Joker figure that you would normally buy, except this has the added accessory. So that's really cool, he has his tie and everything there. So I highly recommend these. I really like them a lot. They're fun to display um, in or out of the packaging. You can simply, once they're untied and everything, you just pop them back in there. Clip. And it's ready to go. It has a little punch hole. You can peg them on the wall. or um, They also just set up. They set up nice. This is kind of a dip in the surface right here, but or else they would be standing straight up. So they just sit straight up like that. And they're very nice looking, very um, reminiscent of some merchandise that would have been out during the show's time. So I uh, hope you like these. hope you consider them. Like I said, they're on Entertainment Earth. Uh, really cool set. Pick them up. There's five guys in there. Usually these um, figures, 8-inch figures, retail around 25 to 30 a piece. And um, this set just comes all together at the five figures. So hop on there and check them out. I hope you enjoyed the review. Have a nice day.